I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to the game and you need to learn the fundamentals, look for a link in the video description below to the lessons. Playing solitaire is a great way to practice decision making or maybe test out a strategy. If you can compartmentalize your decision making, there's a lot that can be learned in a game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. In this game of solitaire, you can be the fifth player, if you'd like. After the Charleston, pause the video. Look at all the players' hands. See where the strengths lie and decide who you think will win the game. Write your guess in the comment section below with the reason why you think they'll win. Make sure that you don't read any of the comments because it could skew your decision. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie, pick out a category to play, or maybe even a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one also known as East. We have Jokers, almost news with a pair of North, pair of Green Dragons, three Bams, three Cracks, pair of Fours in there, no Dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I like to build around multiples. Sometimes your multiples do not all work together, especially if you have more than two at the onset. Here we have a pair of north, pair of green, pair of four cracks. There is nothing you can do with those three multiples. So when that happens, I build around the most of my multiples. So in this case, I think we could maybe play winds and dragons or a year hand and give up on the fours. We could play news concealed with the year under the year category. We could play north and south, or north and south with dragons. Of course, we need the other dragons. Maybe we could keep the seven, because maybe we could play north and south with sevens. This would be the fourth hand down under winds and dragons. And by process of elimination, we've got options and tiles to pass. So that's what I would pass. Winds and dragons, year hand, probably would be my focus here. I don't think I would consider a quint. I suppose instead of a year hand, maybe we could see about playing a quint, six, seven, dragon. We would need a five or an eight and pass those three instead. Let's do that. Let's focus on a potential quint. We wouldn't be able to use these. I'm thinking a quint with the dragon because they correspond. We could maybe even play consecutive run. Let's do this. That way we have two tiles as opposed to singles. Either the seven with north and south or the two with a year hand. Here we can do consecutive run, a quint, or north and south with sevens. So three options. 
I guess we had three options the other way too, but with this arrangement, we could maybe play a quint, which is a higher point hand. This is a little bit of a risky pass, all evens, but you wanna build your hand first, and then with the remaining tiles, come up with a defensive pass. And that's as defensive as we can get while still giving us options. So I think that's what I would try here. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. Dragon, flower, wind, pair of red dragons. Dragon, that's a joker, that's not a dragon. Joker, flower, wind, dragons. Dots, bams, cracks, three, two, three, no multiples. Our multiple is with the dragon. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start with the dragon. Play something with the dragon. We could play like numbers. So I look at these tiles and pick out the like numbers. We have ones, fives, and eights. Like numbers with ones, like numbers with fives, like numbers with eights. And this of course would be the concealed like number hand with dragons. I do not like to pass flowers. So by process of elimination, we have tiles we can pass. And that's not too bad of a pass. It'd be better if there were an odd tile in there. We could maybe do evens with dragons and give up a one. We already have, oh, there. We already have options with eights and fives. And here we can maybe play evens if we get them in one suit with the matching dragon. That would be the second from the bottom under the even category. Let's see what we can do for player three also known as West. We have a Joker flower, pair of East and a South, dots, three, bams, two, cracks with a pair of sixes. So if this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the east and the six. There's only one hand that you can play, so I would come up with options. East and six will require west, and we have a gap. This would be the fifth hand down under Winds and Dragons. I would hold the wind because we're in the Wind and Dragon category. And I think I would hold some year tiles for a potential year hand as a plan B if sixes and the West don't come in. And by process of elimination, that gives us a pass. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. We have a flower, a white dragon, two, three, six, pair of threes, four dots, three bams. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on threes. Maybe like numbers with threes or consecutive two, three, four.
There is some potential for 369. If we had a three dot, I might consider it, but we need tiles to pass. So I would pass those and focus on consecutive. Two, three, four, three number range for now. If we have a one or a five, that might be better when you're in mixed suits. Four number range around your multiple. So here it would be one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. Four numbers around the multiple. We are ready for the Charleston. For the first pass, east passes to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. Oh, we got a six. Mm, let's see here. Why did I want sixes? Oh, we got a seven. Multiple. Okay, so we're kind of in between here. Six, seven, dragon, or north and south with sevens. I think I would give up the east. Focus on north and south with sevens, or six, seven, dragon. Six, seven, dragon. Consecutive hand, fifth one down. Of course, we need flowers. So here we were going to play like numbers, and we got four, eight. One of the options was evens. We need a two crack in here. We could use this for the six. Let's focus on eights. either evens or like numbers with eights. East and west with sixes. Look at that. East and west with sixes. We got one, two, three multiples in there. This is going to be a risky pass, but this could be a really quick win, actually. I would risk it. Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. We got a four dot. We're just going to keep all the numbers in a range around the multiple. One, two, three, four. We do have tiles to pass, but passing a white dragon with a year tile is really risky. So what I would do here is whittle this down. We have too many options. We're not going to be able to use all these tiles. So I would improve that pass by picking out some redundant tiles or, or maybe pick a hand or a couple of hands as opposed to the whole category. So for example, one thing we could do is we could do two, three, four mixed suit Kongs, third hand down on the right. Two, three, four. Mixed suit Kongs. So maybe let's keep two, three, just to see what comes in. And maybe we could give up a three band. Focus on three, four, and pass those. Because if we pass that, we're passing two year tiles. If we pass that, two year tiles. And here, of course, same thing, very risky. So let's see what happens if we pass those. We're going on to our cross pass. We got a south. Oh my gosh, all we need in here are flowers and another seven. We did pick up a six, but north and south goes with sevens. So let's continue the focus with north and south with sevens. 
and give up a six. We could still play six, seven dragon, but I'm hoping that we can get a seven. We were looking for evens, we got odds. I think that pass is fine. We've got a little number with two big numbers and all three suits. We got an east that was not in the plan. So we have a pung here now. I would maybe consider playing a quint with sixes. Second hand down under quints. And I would give up that. Yes, we're going to pass like numbers. I would consider sticking with east and west to make that a better pass and give up on the quint. We don't have jokers. Well, we have one. That's not enough. You need minimum of two. So east and west with sixes, no gaps. I think that's conservative. We've got ones, one, two, one, two, five. So we have two, three, one, two, four, five. Oh, we did get a two. Two, three, four. Two, three, four mixed suit Kongs. So what I would probably do here, keep the five and the white, give up the one. We have like numbers, so I would let that go. I think I would pick a hand, leverage every multiple, except of course these ones, which has a gap. If we played one through four, we have a gap of no three, and then here we have the other suits with multiples. So I would build around the multiples and pass those. First left. We got a seven. Oh, nice. Now, all we really need in here are flowers. Let's break up that green. Let's pass three, nine. There's a hand that uses a six that matches the dragon. So let's pass those three, just in case somebody's playing that particular hand. We got another four. We need a pung for that dragon hand. Two, four, dragon, six, eight. We need twos. This would be the six. So it would look like that. That would be for the six. And then we need two crack. So this is what I call a gap hand. Anytime you have a gap hand, you should really consider a plan B. And that's why I'm keeping the eight for like numbers with eights. If we get fours instead, I would let the eight go and switch to fours to leverage that pung. But I would love to get two cracks. We'll pass those. We're looking for east and west with sixes. Let's make that a little better by putting a different suit in there. One of each suit. We've got a one. Six, nine, three, six, nine. I think these multiples look really good though. I would stick with it. And I think I would break up the ones into two passes, just in case we get everything we want. Maybe what we could do is keep the one crack for the next pass, just in case we get what we want. So we did first left, everybody has three tiles to pass. So we're gonna keep going. Second left. We got an east. We gave up the dragon. Let's stick with that and keep the east because we could play news. 
there are two news hands that we could play in that category. The first one and the concealed hand. We got the two. This could be the missing six. Considering that, we filled a gap there with that. I would give up the eight now because we can use this to help with our six. They got a six. We're stuck. We're in trouble. We have to do a cross. We got what we wanted. And here we have all keepers. We would have to risk passing a pair. Let's think about it. We're, we're one tile away from being set. We need a flower and a west, but we can Kong and Kong. One thing we could do is give up a, an east for a safer pass. This would be the pair tiles though, so that is risky. And this hand is one away from being set. I think in this case, I might risk passing a pair. Let's think about it. It's very uncomfortable to pass a pair. So let's just wait and see what we can do here. Two, three, four. We have three, nine, dragon. There's a year tile in there. I think that's a reasonable pass. So we're going to go across. Okay, let's see here. We have to decide. We're one away from being set. I think I would risk it. We don't need it. We can pass those three and break that up. Sometimes I'll even try to work it in. As a matter of fact, we could keep it and see if we get other ones and use it. Let's pass those three and use the pair maybe. Because right now we have sevens. But if we start getting ones, maybe we could switch to ones. It's like numbers with odds and north and south. So any odd. Here we have sevens. We would need ones. We want two, four, six, eight. Now we do have potential here for eight, nine dragon, but we would have to throw away a pung of green, uh, four cracks. So I would not switch. I would focus on two, four, six, eight and cracks with the dragons. We are hoping for sixes or a west. Two, three, four. We do have a five there. Four, five, two, three, four. I would stick with it. We could pass one of each suit. Or we could put a five in there. Let's do that. So we went to cross with a really risky pass and got lucky because they didn't really need it, at least at this point. We'll see. So we're on last right, east to north. No. East to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. And they got a one. We're in between sevens and ones. I would pass two for the optional cross. We wanted two, four, six, eight in cracks. We were looking for sixes. I think I would hold the dragon because we could maybe switch to like numbers with sixes and discard these. I think I would negotiate two. Two, three, four. I would negotiate three. So we are on optional cross. 
East and West want two each. North and South, full pass. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. Okay, let's see. I would keep all the consecutive tiles together. Probably discard those. One, two, three, four consecutive run. East and west with sixes or like numbers with sixes, discard those. Two, four, six, eight with dragons or two, four, six, eight the first hand. Discard those. North and south with sevens or north and south with ones. If you want to be the fifth player and bet who you think will win the game, look at everybody's hand and try to figure out what they're playing. Also look at what is in the other player's hands because they could be blocked unknowingly. Decide who you think will win and put your guess in the comment section below with the reason why you think they will win. And I will do the same. Here's my bet. I'm going to put it right here. We'll start by discarding nine crack. We'll use this to mark whose turn it is. We got a white dragon. Look at all these dragons. If we get fours, I might switch to like numbers with fours. Let's discard nine dot. Whoa, look at that, sixes. If we get a flower or a west, we could maybe play a pure hand. Sacrifice that joker. Let's discard eight bam. That's helpful. Let's discard east. Nine dot. Nine bam. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I think I would switch to a quint. Give these up. We have the right dragon. Fourth hand down under quince. Let's get rid of five dot. We're going to have to make a choice pretty soon. Six bam. A nine bam was discarded. Let's throw that. We have joker bait. Joker bait is when you hold on to pairs you don't need. Those are a little far out from one, two, three, four, or even two, three, four. So in the middle game, about the third wall, we'll discard one. Maybe someone will make an exposure with a joker and then we'll exchange it with the other on our turn. That's how it's supposed to work. And it's hit or miss. I have videos on that in the video description. You can get to them with the links provided there. Let's draw. Let's see here. Did I discard? Yes. White dragon. Nobody can take it. White dragon. Wow, look at that. We don't need this five. If you have discards, 
just discard and move the game along. We can figure this out as we go. One bam. East. Six crack. None of these are out. Let's discard six crack. It's this player's turn. They can't take it. Here we can quint or we can Kong. Hmm. Let's see. If we quint, we could quint there too, but we have only one dragon. East was thrown, nobody took it, so this is worthless. Unless we play sixes with east and west and sacrifice the jokers and play pure. This would be a 50 point hand if it is pure, no jokers. The quint with sixes and dragons is a 45 point hand. So let's try for a pure hand and get rid of the jokers. Or we could play like numbers with sixes and get rid of these. So we have to decide now because we will need to, oh no, we could Kong and do both. So let's Kong. Let's give up on the quint. If we get six bams, maybe we could play like numbers with sixes and flowers. So let's discard green dragon. We got the two bam, two, three, four. I think I would go ahead and commit to that. We can Kong one of these. This is ready to Kong. Let's get rid of white dragon. It's this player's turn. This player could Pung or even Kong that white dragon. If we were to do that, we would have to throw away the fours and the eights. I think I would let it go. Even though this looks pretty, this is a much stronger potential or like numbers with fours and then ditch the eights. I would let it go. There's a green dragon out and two white dragons are out. Let's draw. Flower. That's not really helpful, but we don't need this. Oh, look at that. We got the two. Let's stick with it. Green dragon. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to need two more jokers because the sixes are out. So maybe like numbers with twos would have been better. Too late now. Down is down. We're going to look for jokers at this point. Two, four, six. We really only need one more. And then, no, we need two because all the sixes are out. Ah, I wish I had paid more attention. Always look at the exposures when you discard. That was probably a mistake. If I had thought it through, I might be more likely to discard the two or eight and focus on like numbers with fours, but we really only need two dragons. We need four dot and four bam. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think they can recover. Let's draw two bam. Up here, we'll Kong.
discard two dot. Same tile. Five, bam. Okay, we need a flower or a west. Four, bam. Nine, bam. One, bam. Oh, wait. We have north and south with ones. We have options. There are no one, no, there's a one bam out. Let's toss it. Nine crack. Okay, let's think this through. Because we could maybe play a year hand. 2019 with dragons. There's two white dragons out though. I don't think so. I think it's too late for that. Maybe we could do eight, nine, eight, nine dragon since the sixes are up here. Get rid of these. There's a four bam out and that would need to be the Kong. We, and we have a gap, no four dots. This gives us an option. Let's give up the dragon. Discard eight, nine dragon. There's already one nine crack out. So we'll see what happens. We could still maybe play two, four, six, eight, if we can get more jokers for the six. Three dot. That was the last tile in the second wall. We are going into the middle game, so everybody should know what category they're playing. Here we're playing winds and dragons, north and south with ones, or north and south with sevens. Here we're playing evens. Here we're playing east and west with sixes wind and dragon hand, and here we're playing consecutive run. West. They're not ready. We could use this here, but we need a pair. Four dot. It's this player's turn. But this player can Kong. Let's discard one. Bam. Six. Bam. Nobody wanted it. So this player has Joker bait that probably won't work. Two dot. I was thinking maybe we could do like numbers with twos, but all the dragons are out. Let's discard white dragon. All right, we need a flower or a west, and we got a north. We just need a flower. Five crack. Oh, flower. Okay. All right. Let's think about it. We need the, oh, I almost discarded that flower. I had it over there with the discards. We need a pair of flowers and we need to Kong. So we have to decide now. No sevens are out and no ones are out. Well, there's no one bams are out and all the year tiles are out. So maybe that would be a safe way to go. Ones. With all the white dragons out, nines are out. Maybe ones will be easier than sevens. Let's do it. We'll discard seven dot. 
So we're going to do north and south with ones. All the ear tiles are out. Five crack. Oh, now that gives us a little glimmer of hope. Four, five dragon. So we have an option now because of these sixes. Let's discard two dots. Three BM. We need a flower and a west very badly. Green dragon. Oops. Six BAM, nobody wants. We got a flower. Okay, this four or five dragon looks good. Let's discard nine crack. <gasps> we got the flower. Oh my goodness. Oh, very nice. Out it goes. Same. They're ready on a west. I'd love to draw that six dot, make it a pure hand. But if the west goes down, we'll take it. Let's draw. Green. Oh, the seven. Oh, oops. Oh, we didn't have the seven crack anyway. We had a seven dot. Okay, seven crack. Five dot. Wrong suit. Okay, we need a west or a six dot. We got a five crack. That's what this player wants, but they can't take it. We need a Kong in there. Seven crack was thrown. Nine dot, all out. Seven dot went down. We need a west or a six. Three, right suit, wrong tile. Three dot. Oh, two crack. We need a three crack. Darn it. That's okay. They're, they're doing all right. They've got safe discards at least. Two crack. Three crack. Oh no, hold on. Hold the phone. Three, four, dragon, three crack. There are two five cracks out. No three cracks are out. Okay, so we have to make a choice right now. Maybe we could do two, three, four Kongs or four, five. Let's get rid of the eight crack. Since the sixes are up here, we would need more jokers. One bam. Seven bam. We changed. We want ones. Ooh, we got a flower. We don't need it. Just a pair is needed there. Let's get rid of it now. Flower. This player, we need to think about it because they need a pair up there. We need, if we play three, four dragon or four, five dragon, we need to pong. Let's pong. And we'll get rid of the eight. Nobody wanted these twos. So that would be joker bait. But really it's not joker bait because nobody wanted them and there's two out. So it's really not. Oh, seven dot. Shoot. Two dot. Oh, now that's nice. We need to Kong these. Seven bam. They have all their pairs. Oh, very nice. Two crack. They could 
they could Kong and they could Kong there too. Five crack. So we're going to take it because these jokers will be safe. They're out. The fives are out, so nobody can take those. We could Kong and be ready on that, or Pung and be ready on that. Let's throw three crack. Oh, I probably could have thrown that too. It is a safe discard though. All right, anyway, it's this player's turn. This player's not ready for the three. Three dot again, bummer. Okay, we need a joker for that three or another three. We got a seven dot. Five dot. Eight bam. One crack. It's this player's turn, but here we're going to Kong. Really, you should pick up the discard first, then bring up the tiles from your hand. That way you can validate the tile that was discarded. So pick up the discard, put it on your rack, then add your tiles. We'll discard seven bam, and we're ready to win on a one dot. Five bam. And that was the last tile in the third wall. It's this player's turn. Everybody should decide if they're gonna play to win or switch to defense and break up their hand to discard defensively. Here we're ready to win. I'd play to win. There are no one dots out. Here we're one away from ready. I would play to win. Here ready to win. I would play to win. And here they have safe discards two away from ready. I would play to win for everybody. Oh, we could exchange, but we don't need it. We do not need it. We need a single tile. And you always want to leave a joker in an exposure because you don't want to give them a potential for a pure hand where you can use jokers and there's no jokers. That would be a pure hand. So we're going to discard four dot. We need a single tile. Four bam. Eight bam. Eight dot. We need a west. Eight dot. Three bam. South. We need a one dot. Four crack. We got that. Look at that. We'll discard two crack. Safe tile. Ready to win on a red dragon. Four bam. Nine bam. We need a one dot to win. Three bam. We need a red dragon or a joker. Five bam. We need a west. Eight crack. Three players ready to win. One dot. I would play to win. That's Mahjong here. Take the exposure and add. Take the discard and add your exposure. Winds and Dragons, number four. North and south with ones. Discarded by this player. This player 
would pay the penalty. If you were a better, who did you bet on? I bet on West. It was between, I think it was between West and, e and West and East. I did not bet on East because they had a gap of no flowers. They had two jokers, but they didn't have any flowers. Here they, they had no gaps, I believe if my memory serves me correctly. So that's why I bet on West. And they're ready to win. All three of these players are ready to win. Were you right? In regards to paying as a better, you pay the same amount as the player you bet on. I bet on this player, so I pay 25 just like this player. If I had bet on this player, I would have to pay 50 because that's what they will have to pay this player. You pay the same amount as the player you bet on. So if, if you picked this player, you would have to pay 50, just like them. Fifth player betting can be tricky business. You never know what the players are going to do or what is gonna happen in the game. In this case, South was playing 2468 and West conged with sixes. No jokers. And South needed a pung of sixes, so they had to change gears and switch to consecutive run. So they had to really restart their hand after the Charleston. It's a good thing East drew well because three players were ready to win. Without that pair of flowers, I think East probably would have fallen behind in that race to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.